This is my Ebus Butcher uh, D D2 uh, 12 volt, which is 2.2 uh, kilowatt. Um, fantastic heater when they're running. Um, but when a uh, when a developer thought they they can be right pigs, and usually it means a trip to the Eber agent and uh, give them a blank check. Um, but anyway, I've had, as I say, I've had this seven years, and for for, for four years it was fantastic. Um, I bought it as a as a recondition unit. Uh, this this was uh, reconditioned, but everything else was brand new. The wiring harness, uh, the retro switch, um, uh, the fuel pump, exhaust, all the hoses, everything was brand new, except, for, as I say, for the main unit. Um, now, this fault after four years, the thing wouldn't fire up. No matter what I did, I checked, I checked the um, batteries, the batteries were fully charged, um, there was plenty of fuel. Um, I tested the pump, that was working fine. Uh, no matter what I did, it just wouldn't fire up then. And then, and then by complete accident, and this, this, this probably won't, uh, this won't help most people, but it's worth trying if, if you've got a similar fault. Um, I'll have to put the phone down because I won't be able to show you what I have to do to get this to fire up. So, right now that that switch has been on now for half hour and, and nothing's happened. Um, you, you can see. Can you see the light? <clears throat> yeah, you can see the light. Um, nothing's happened. So what I do to get it going is that's the fuse ho holder there. I remove the fuse, just touch it a couple of times and then push it back in and then wait. Sometimes it takes a couple of times, but uh, attempts, but um, <coughs> no. Nah. <coughs> Try again. That's it. Now she's kicked into action. Oh. It's going to be pretty boring, but um, there's no way of showing you this. I mean, there's probably people out there, probably people who experience with these, will know what exactly what the problem is. But um, I don't know what the problem is. Because, but that's all I have to do to get this thing to fire up. Actually, there's, there's no real need for you to, uh, you can hear the pump going there. There must be a sensor or something um, not com communicating with the ECU and not resetting. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. And if it is the ECU, 
to go. I may as well buy another unit. If it's a sensor, that's probably not so bad, but I don't know what sensor it is because there's so many in these things. Um, you've got voltage sensors, heat sensors, um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that may help somebody. Um, well, good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.